This is Daniel Omar. He's 16 and lives in the war-ravaged Nuba Mountains of Sudan. Two years ago, a Sudanese government airstrike severed both his arms. He was left nearly helpless, unable to feed himself. Daniel told his family he wished he had died. This is Mick Ebling. He's a successful film and video effects producer in Venice, California. He also runs a small nonprofit organization called Not Impossible. We look at things that we consider to be almost borderline absurd that they haven't been solved, evaluate it and say, well, that shouldn't be that way. Let's change it. After reading about Daniel, Ebling, the father of three boys himself, flew to Sudan with some 3D printers, laptops, and spools of plastic. His goal? Build Daniel an arm. 3D printing as a invention, as a you know, technological phenomenon that's just recently come to the mainstream, it's a massive, massive tool. Ebling set up the equipment in a hospital run by an American doctor called Tom Katena. Ebling modified a simple existing design for a prosthetic arm. It has no batteries, no silicon chips, and can be easily repaired if broken. Appropriate technology for a remote African region. And it works. Daniel's new arm has changed his life. For the first time in two years, he's able to feed himself. Not Impossible's motto is help one, help many. Ebling taught local doctors and technicians how to operate the printers and left them behind when he returned to the U.S. Now they are printing prosthetic arms for dozens of amputees. It's amazing what happens when you give stuff away. My whole goal was to try to leave a community and a village with the tools, the technology, and the know-how. Technology, will, and compassion. A mixture that proves that many things are not impossible. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.